We do want to warn you that viewers might find this video disturbing. Huh? What? Quit thinking about my twinkle. What's that? Quit thinking about my twinkle. No. Quit thinking about my twinkle. Get out of my face and pull a cop's Stop. Twenty seconds. It was twenty seconds from the moment Cook approached Coley before Coley pulled a gun and shot him. Coley's defense attorneys argued self-defense, and since this happened, the social media world has really gotten behind Coley, saying Cook was harassing him, a, a complete stranger. Now you heard Coley tell Cook to stop a few times, but then pulled that gun and shot one round, injuring the YouTuber. Coley was found not guilty of aggravated malicious wounding and guilty of shooting into to an occupied dwelling because this happened inside the mall. Coley faces two to ten years in prison when he's sentenced. Cook, for his part, says he plans to continue making his YouTube prank videos. Now, prosecutors told the jury that Coley brought a gun to a cell phone fight. A lot of people have weighed in on how annoying that type of behavior was, but the jury seemed to side with Coley's argument about self-defense here, which is normally reserved for someone who feels that they or a loved one is in very serious physical danger. So that uh, decision by the jury yesterday certainly raised a lot of eyebrows, but then you see that video and it raises a whole new set of questions. You